11 years in pop music has taught me quite a few do's and don'ts. There are certain things in songwriting that you just shouldn't do. So if you're new to songwriting, stick around because in this video, I'm going to be sharing some of my pet peeves and mistakes that some new artists tend to make. I've also made some of these and I don't want the annoyed looks I got to happen to you. So let's blast off and get started. Welcome to our cyborgs, I'm Jonathan Miller and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music, helping you become a better songwriter. I make futuristic and outer space inspired dance pop music and every Wednesday on this channel I'm helping others take their music to level 2. If that sounds good, consider subscribing. If not, then good luck on your own, but I better not hear any of these in your next track. And don't come crying to me when everyone gives you weird looks when you release it, okay? I'm just saying. Or you can subscribe and get more tips and tricks to make your next single a smash! I'm just saying, think about that! Number 1. Choosing unnatural sounding words. Look, everyone is very impressed that you got three degrees in college, but remember, pop music is all about simplicity, okay? As pop songwriters, it can be hard to find the balance between fresh and new and same old, same old. Now, you don't need to try to impress anybody with your big vocabulary and word stuffing words that don't really appear in casual conversation. Unless, of course, that's part of the song and you're trying to prove a point. Obviously, there are always exceptions. Remember, pop music is all about accentuating and capturing everyday language. That's how our songs get popular. They're easily relatable. And they make us feel like it comes right out of our own mouth. So so don't keyword stuff. If a more advanced word works, by all means use it. Just don't overuse them, okay? Number two, ending a song without a resolve. Unless this is obviously your intent given the content of your song, this usually bugs me. Whether that's a story that has no closure or music that doesn't really come together in the end, it just annoys me. I also know that it's a technique people use, but I personally don't really like it and I don't know of a lot of popular songs that use this on the radio. Just saying. This is probably one of the more personal taste things, but honestly, I'm not a fan. Number three, forcing near rhymes that just don't work. My favorite case of this is in Sabby's rap in Britney Spears' song, Drop Dead Beautiful. Let's take a listen. Boy, boy, look at you. I wanna get, get, get next to you. Got me kinda high, but I ain't sweating you. Steaming like a pot full of vegetables. 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 Yeah. Don't do that. Like, the song is a jam, but every time that part comes up, it just becomes awkward and like I can't quite get over it, you know what I mean? It's kind of similar to my previous pet peeve where it just makes the lyric and phrase sound unfinished. Bitch, you mean to tell me you couldn't think of any other word that had a long U sound in it? That and long E sounds are the easiest to rhyme in the English language. I would know, I use them all the time. Yeah, don't do this. Take the time. Now, sometimes imperfect rhymes can work. If the singer sings well, if the melodies work, if the stars align, like, you know, whatever. Then that might be okay. You can be creative, just don't be lazy. Number four, choosing unnatural sentence cadences. This is especially hard for newer songwriters. I would know, I used to do this all the time. I will also say that sometimes this works when used sparingly, but not when the whole damn song is phrased so awkwardly you don't know what the hell's going on. So it's like, next, it becomes distracting. Let's take an example of a lyric that I've actually heard in a song. I will then follow you. As a native English speaker, it sounds okay, but it also sounds a bit unnatural, like something feels out of place. Remember, you want your lyrics, even in rap and hip hop, to have a nice flow to it. A better arrangement of that lyric would probably be, then I will follow you, or I will follow you then. But if you're throwing it in to try to make it fit in a part, mm, you have to be careful because it sounds kind of weird. And yes, as somebody who is a member of the Grammar Police, I know, Grammar doesn't have to be perfect in music. I know that, so don't at me. But you do still want your song to sound natural. And remember, singing and songwriting is all about accentuating the way we speak. So keep that in mind. All right, so this last one, I have waited a long time to put into a video somewhere. And the time has come, bitches. So number five, which is really my number one pet peeve, rhyming a long A sound with the word again. Now before I erupt, I will say that this one is kind of tricky because in some dialects of English, the word again is pronounced as again. So if that's you and you sing it that way, 
you're off the hook. No problem with you. I'm mostly speaking to Americans here. So, to my fellow Americans, stop doing this. Nothing turns me off to a song more than this freaking thing that happens all the time. In American English, pain, blame, same, brain, game, do not rhyme with again. So if you choose to keep that lyric, I better hear you sing it as an actual rhyme. Cat, the only example I could think of in recent history that does this correctly is Miss Bridget Mendler's Hurricane. Take a listen and write some notes. So all ranting aside, if you do it, do it right. Otherwise, keep thinking of better rhymes. So those are some of my songwriting pet peeves and mistakes that I have made, except for A and again. I can safely say I've never done that and I don't plan on it. Question of the video? What are some of your songwriting pet peeves? Do you hate when people rhyme A and again? Does it sound weird to you? Leave me a comment below letting me know. If you want to check out any of my other songwriting tips and tricks videos, there's links in the description below so you can check them out as well. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new. I put out new videos every single Wednesday. Once again, I'm Jonathan Miller, and I will see you next time. Matane!